everybody out there in White Street. You already know what it is. Salute everybody. Cool. Yeah. What side, bro? I can't do it that side. Hey, yo. Yo, what's going on, my guy? I'm good, brother. How are you doing, Steve? I never had a bad day in my life, man. You know what it is. <laughs> That's ill. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm late, in it? Yeah, it's cool, you know. You get the, the celebrities keep you waiting. That's the way that it works out here. <laughs> I be, I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. What Holly, what Hollywood on us? I was I was driving. <laughs> I've been on the road for like the past two hours. Oh, well, time. I appreciate switching you taking time some time for us today, man. Snap. I'm even trying to like adjust my uh my whole situation here, you know? Yeah, take your time, man. Take your time. I think I'm lady though. Am I lady? You see me? How's my uh my camera and everything? You're you're buffering right now. Yo, switch on. Let's switch on the light. I think my network. I don't know why my network tripping, but I'm gonna switch on my light. Get my get my shit together. Come on, you knew you knew you was gonna have a video shoot today. Uh, shit, you clipping? There we I go. said you knew you was gonna have a video, uh, a video shoot today. Uh, no, not today, sir. They got, they got the camera today. guy, the, the the makeup girl. And you ain't got the whole cast <laughs> in there. <laughs> no, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't today. Oh, snap! All right, so what's, what's going on, man? How you feeling? I'm all right, my brother. How you doing, man? Doing good, man. I appreciate you taking the time to come and kick it today, man. I've been Thank looking so forward much, to this. Man. I appreciate you, man, Yo. sharing this platform with you and your folks. Shout out to the whole GS gang, brother. Ah, uh, that's love, man. Shout out to the whole GS gang, everybody that's been on here. Yo, yeah, yo, I, I can I get a lot of I get a lot of requests now. Like the the Ginger Trill Army. I don't know what you call your guys, but you got <laughs> you got some. You got some rider dies coming for you right now. That's so as soon as, That's so dope. As soon as they caught wind, as soon as they caught wind that we was going to be messing with each other, man. Oh. <laughs> they started showing TQ said, put your light back on. <laughs> Yo, I need to. I need to, man. There's people in the background trying to help me. You don't even see what's going on here. There we go. Oh, uh, we got a whole production company going. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Am I, am I, trill, am I looking trill at guy. Is it looking a bit better? Yeah, you look good, man. Perfect. Perfect. Lit. On, that is man. good. We'll take it down a little bit. There's a couple of things I want to talk to you about today, man. If you don't mind, yes, I'm going to beat your ear off with some stuff, man. Yes, um, I've been doing my ginger trill research uh, throughout the uh, the last two weeks. Uh, someone, I actually, like I said, I, I, get, I get requests to talk to people a lot. And your yeah. name is one that comes up in every circle uh, that I've been moving in right now, uh, especially mm-hmm. considering, you know, the, the, the essay scene and stuff like that. Yeah. So it leads me to, I feel like I already have a rapport with you. You and I have never actually had a conversation prior to this. No, you know, we shared a couple of tweets, you know, show love, you know, show love back. Um, I, I saw your cipher. I mean, the first time I heard of Steve Busa GS was, um, on Tumi's, um, Freestyle Friday, right? Right, yeah, yeah, I yeah. That he follows you, and that's when I hit the follow. And then one of my guys, like that, I fo- that I follow on Twitter, was like, "Yo, check out this reaction." And I was like, oh. And then I started like, <laughs> also like, you know, getting familiar, like familiarizing myself with the whole, you know, the whole movement, what GS Gang is about, you know, the scorecard reactions, who Steve Busa is, you know what I mean? So. Oh, that's ill, man. I really appreciate that, brother. Dude, that's super dope. I appreciate that too, man. And, and, and this is this is all I could ask for, like. You you've got you found yourself in this kind of position right now, specifically in the hip hop scenes, yeah. uh, where you you have now garnered like praise from every corner of people that I talk to, right? Which is That's sick it. because they tend to put people against each other a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, they people they they click. You know what I mean? They're very yeah. clicky. That's I have yet to I haven't heard somebody say "fuck trill" yet. <laughs> Which is very, it, that's very interesting to me. Like, it's very, like, it's like I, I piss people off. So there's always going to be a fuck Steve Booster GS that's out there. That's crazy. Talk about it, man. I, I want to talk about that. So, like, what do you call your followers? Do you have, like, a follower, you know, hive or something like that? Is there a trill yeah. hive out there? 
Yeah, man, I just called him Trill Gang. They Trill didn't gang? call themselves that. I didn't even give them that name. They said, yo, we are the Trill Gang. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit, let's rock. All right. <laughs> it's been something that's, go that's been going on for about maybe since, like, 2016, you know? They gave themselves, like, a, a name. In a 2015, even. And then, you know, they would just, they'd ride for me, you know? I'd throw, like, a small little, you know, gig because I just released the tape. And, you know, I'd see sort of, like, the same kind of faces like pop up and I started identifying right. like my core my core base like the people who support me the first people to buy anything I drop be it like a CD a single a hat you know whatever it is and then they just started growing because they their online presence was like heavy like from the initial maybe like 20 that was like heavily present and like you know pushing my stuff and then everybody just joined and the wave got bigger you know the snowball effect and and we here today, you know, got a couple of maybe like a couple hundred subscribers, you know, like um, on like my website and, and stuff like that. And like on, on some on like YouTube, you know, like two bands, like on like Instagram, it's like 15,000 on like um, Facebook. You know, it's just started growing from like 2014, 15. And it's just been getting bigger and bigger ever since. That's Ill. How do you how do you grow like that? And still get respect from everyone. Because, like, that's not a conversation that I can have with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially yeah. as, the, as the fan base grows, people are just, like, the, we're just the way we are. We're all pieces of shit. We want to see True. people beef with each other. We want the drama <laughs> alerts. You know what I'm saying? True. Yeah. How, how do you get to this urban legend status where everybody fucks with you and, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just talk about it, man. I don't know, man. I think... I think I think you know it's 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 a couple things combined. You know, like firstly, is the kind of music that I make. You know what I mean? A lot of my fans, you know, supporters, fam, they'll be like, um, "Trill is like a, a, a authentic hip hop." That's how they describe my sound or like the kind of hip hop I do. You know, in today's age where like it's changed so much. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, the the main face of because because I'm I'm a bit of a, OG, you know, I'm a young OG, you know, uh, I've been around since maybe 2012 in the scene. That's when I started, like, that's when I dropped my debut project, right? That's when I started right. bubbling under 2013. Like, my face was a bit more out there because, like, I was one of the first artists in South Africa to get, like, verified. Forget the, the hip-hop scene, okay. like, in I got the you. music industry, to get verified in on Twitter. You see what I'm saying? Right. And that's, yeah. when, like, that's when, like, the name got out there. And then I got like on a couple of high profile features with like a lot of the, 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 the mega stars in SA hip hop. And then 2014, 15, my name was really out there. And then when people went to check out my music, they'd be like, oh, well, yeah, he's commercially viable, but it's not really like all the way viable. It's not like all the way track track. There's like an element of like realness about it. That's how they describe it. And I think the people that I've worked with in the past couple of years, you know what I mean? Right. You know, the, the, the energy they get from me, I guess. And they just, like, classify me as one of those guys who just, like, a stand-up dude in a way. And I think maybe that's what, to answer your question, that's how, that's how it happened for me. You know, it could have it been, it could have been, you know, bigger. It could have been bigger. But because of, like, the slow and steady incline, the kind of music that I make, the places that I, that I touch base at, you know, the circles that I move Absolutely. around in, the artists that I associate myself with, I think that's how I garnered, you know, um, so-called um, respect of like a, an urban legend. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, nah, it's I, like too. I love to see <laughs> it too, man. I I love to see it. It's it's beautiful to watch the interactions. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because there there are a lot of people that don't. So the when I when I do come across artists who happen to have such positive fan interaction stuff like that. I always try to give flowers. You know what I'm saying? Why people can still smell them. Like, like, like that's, that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know, like, especially someone with the, that, that garners the respect of the streets and shit like that, man. Like, yes, it means a lot when you see somebody get retweeted out. You see somebody like your shit. Like, you get that little bit of artist interaction, especially right. when you make powerful music. Like, you, like, as I familiarized myself with your body of work uh, throughout the last couple of weeks, and even before that, when we we're doing the, the reactions, obviously, that came months before this. Yes, like, sir. You, you definitely have a voice that you're not afraid to use. You, you're not afraid to push a message, to push the agenda. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're not making, 
you know, tuna can rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, like there, there's 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 actual concept behind it. So like those those are the artists we want interacting with the fan base. Those are the ones we want being the face of hip hop. So like that's super dope. So kudos to you. You know what I'm saying? Thank by you, by all me. means, like that's Appreciate dope. You know what I'm saying? I, I see that, the man. I see the grind, man. Now you, it's funny. So you start putting the timeline. I had you dated back to 2011. Right? Yeah. You said 2012. I had you dated back to 2011, and you was on some type of hip hop like uh, talent show, right? Yeah. It was called the clip. Yeah. Full, full clip. clip. Yes, full sir. clip. Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I, I'm doing my research, right? And and, oh. I, and I, I'm I, I'm digging in. Oh, I, I I I get busy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you hard. You get real busy, Steve. Whoa. <laughs> this is, but this is so dope because this is such a fun topic that I haven't really dug in. Like, like you're one of those guys who came up, like who 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 had the opportunity to be on these platforms. Like, part of what I want to do, what I represent, is yeah. is using my platform that I am building. To yeah. give to up and coming artists who may or may not be getting the look right now, right? Word. What What was your interaction with having a platform like that? Like, what was that like? Take me all the way back to that because I'm very interested to to dig into the brain of somebody who lived through it. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, bro. was it all good? Was it bad? What are the things we don't know about? Like, this is a dope conversation I have. Bro, bro, I'll even, I'll even, I'll even, um, I'll even give you, I'll even get more specific. Like, it was actually 2020, 2010, rather. So I, I was still staying in my hometown, right? Um, which is true, which is like a couple of hundred kilometers outside of like um, Johannesburg, which is like the, the, the media hub. It's almost like our Hollywood in South Africa. Right. Like that's where people go when they want to make it. That's the town where everybody goes mm -hmm. to when they want to make it. So here comes this platform called The Full Clip on one of like the biggest youth radio stations in the country called YFM. I'm back home. I got like a little nine to five that I'm doing. And, you know, I listened to everything hip hop at the time, you know, and one day I come home, I'm too, I'm too, my brain's too active to sleep. I was actually writing raps. So I tune into YFM. Boom. Here's this platform, the full clip, um, season scoop. Like, yo, we have this platform, any up and coming rappers out there who want to come, you know, uh, um, you know, bust a rap or two, get their name out there. We've got the perfect platform for you. All you have to do is show up. You know, you bring your little Yo. 16, your 24, your 32. We give you a beat. You rap. You get your name out there. And, you know, if you don't, we call you the next week. We call you the next week. And I was right. like, shit. I just dropped my mixtape like a couple months prior to that. It didn't go all too dope. You know, it didn't catch on, you know. And I was okay. like, maybe this is my opportunity. I quit my job. And uh, I gathered a couple of cents. Me and my mans. Me and my mans right here. We like... Uh, Put some put some gas into his car. We put in like the GPS coordinates on his Samsung Omnia. It was the Samsungs back then. It wasn't even we didn't even have no iPhones. Or, the Samsung <laughs> Omnia, and we hit the road. We showed up to the spot, and I was nervous. I was nervous as fuck because you get there and there's a thousand rappers outside this radio station, all all waiting for their shot. You know, all trying to get a look, right? And I'm right. Like, Damn. How am I gonna, you know? These guys have been waiting outside. I just got here. And then I, right. and then I, I looked I looked around, you know, got the feel, checked out, checked out what was going on. And then the 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 pro the, the, the station, what was it? Like the program the content producer came outside finally to say, Okay, we about to give you guys, you know, a shot, you know, at eleven o'clock, everybody gets, you know, you get a chance to go in, but we gotta hear who who can spit. So you guys gotta spit some out here. And then the best from you guys <laughs> can get a chance to get inside and bust a rap. I love that. I think I that's sick as shit. Like, let's I go. Through everybody, like, they were like, "So, who wants to go first? Trail shove through everybody, trying to get to the front. I was like, "What? Get out of my way!" Because everybody was still like, mm. they were still unsure. You know, they were still too cool for school. Fuck them. Because I, I, I just <laughs> drove like two hundred kilometers to get here. You feel me? So I just went through, got to the front. I was like, "Me, I want to bust." Let's around. go. And let me bust a rap. I didn't even do the whole sixteen. I got through like eight bars. They were like, "I." Right. You definitely going in. He got the golden ticket. He got the golden ticket. You feel me? And I was inside the factory, and then I got to meet like people I've been listening to like for a long time, like Caesar Drummond's, like a uh, a real, like a big a big figure in like SA hip hop, you know, in the media space, you know, in pop culture and whatever. And Scoop Macatini was also like 
somebody who's been like in the hip hop sphere. He's not an MC or anything. He's like a, mm. a journalist of the culture and everything that's been going right. on for a very long time. And here I am standing to these standing next to these two people that I admire, and I get a shot. They were like, "Yo, who are you? Where are you from? Tell us your story." You get like thirty seconds to tell to tell people who you are, and then you gotta rap. Yo, man, I was so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I was super what, nervous. What did you end up going with? What did you end up going with? I was super prepared, so I did like one of these verses that I had from like my tape back in 2009. I bust that rap, the whole studio was going crazy. And they're like, yo, you definitely got to make it back next week. You got to hear more <laughs> you. And then that's how that's how it started, you know. That's how I got my look, that's how I got my shot. And then I started building, you know, a relationship with these guys, a relationship with the radio station. Finally like made a proper single that they could airplay. Got my first song on like a, a, a national radio station, and I never looked back from there, bro. I just moved. So, to you, so you got you got you got nothing but positive views on yeah. uh, the the random hip hop platforms that come up and stuff like that. The the contest and you know what I'm saying like all yeah. your like idols and shit like that. That's yes, dope. sir. <laughs> so like <clears throat> this and what you talk about too like the way anyone is gonna like watch this on the playback and shit like that right like when you yeah. when you watch this on the playback it's funny that you're bringing up the, what you went through you're bringing up the situation with scoop like so like look at the contradiction and stuff there too i'm gonna I'm a, you're gonna see how i put this all together right yeah. so like <laughs> scoop recently had that controversial statement that came out and i know you know what i'm talking about right and yeah. it it was like uh, about how the the more established artists should move to the side to give the up and coming artists an opportunity, blah blah blah. Yeah. And here you have somebody talking about I had to fight tooth and nail. You know what I'm saying? Through a thousand rappers lined up outside, I done yeah. drove two hundred kilometers, and you're gonna yeah. tell people that like like man, like you got to go out there and take it. Like you have to go out there and take this shit, man. Like. My man was looking at a thousand rappers like a feast. Like, Sorry. bro, Sorry. I talked about this. I talked about this. I got interviewed. Uh, I got interviewed probably a couple weeks ago, right? Yes. And, I, and, and she was asking me questions uh, along the lines of like, what do I think about up and coming rappers that blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Word. And I was like, yo, man, like if you're, if you're meek, if, you, if you're that, 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 that weak of a person, if you're, if you're like, yo, I need somebody else to keep me motivated. I, I need people to get out of my way so that I have an opportunity. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, ain't no one gonna hand you shit, man. Nobody's gonna give you anything. Nothing. Like, you, bro, you that's a beautiful story. It. Like, that's, that's, and I guarantee you, more so even than whatever you said before that, yeah. that is what's garnering the respect. It's gonna be the yeah. stories like that that get out. This is what the people <laughs> need to hear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like, no, I appreciate that. <laughs> Nobody wants the, I got signed off a million dollars off one track. Like, nah, man, like, this takes work. And this is, we're talking 2011. You're saying 2010, right? Word. People are going to look at shit, man. There, there's your overnight success, right? There's your 10 me? years of grinding, 10 Feel years me? of networking and shit like that. Like, Feel let's me, go, bro. man. Exactly, brother. And that's what I'm, I'm, I'm with you, man. The up-and-coming guys. I remember I had an interview with, um... Aziza, I see you guys have, you know, a bit of a rapport, like Queen Aziza, mm -hmm. the pristine queen, she's my girl. So she, she works at a, at, a, at, a, at a popular online radio station. Um, so we did an interview and she asked me, yo, so how do you feel about, you know, these, these youngins, you know, saying, yo, or she even, I think she brought something up, you know, to, to, the, to the effect of like the same thing that Scoop said, like maybe the OGs should like, you know, pause a little bit. Step aside, yeah. Like, and like let the youngins do it and i was like yo man you know the thing about it is the kids of today are kind of spoiled because like there's this culture you know because of how social media has developed there's this culture of like instant gratification everybody wants to like start something today and have it pop right. off tomorrow and i'm like that's not how it works, it never <laughs> works like, that. like it never ever works like that you take 10 years to be an overnight success you feel me you have to Facts. grind. You have to build. There goes your, there goes your shirt right there, man. <laughs> there goes your shirt right there. It takes ten years to be an overnight success. Talk what? your shit, King. It takes ten years to be an overnight success. If you, yo, I swear to God, if you don't get merch with that on it, yo, 
You dropping the ball big time, man. I can't even take all the credit, man. I heard that off a of Big Show online. I won't even take all the credit. That's fine. You, you that, quote that quote yourself is. quoting him. You know, it's time, so it, it was like the realest shit I ever heard. I was like, damn, I res that resonates with me so, so much because I, I knew what he meant, bro. I didn't get a look of the first time. You know what I mean? I didn't get a look right. of the second time. And back then, like, I was like the hunger. I knew that I was nice, but I was like, I knew I had to do more. I knew that there's somebody else who's, who's nicer. There's somebody else who's working like Facts. twice as hard. Somebody else who's right. like twice as connected. Somebody who lives closer to this, to this, you know, to Jersey than I do. So I had to work hard. I had to sacrifice a lot of things. I had to sacrifice time, you know. I had to sacrifice relationships. There's just so much that you have to do for people to even know your name. Forget like the music, just your name. So that you can get Facts. shot. So they're like, okay, we know him. Let's hear what he has to say. You feel me? So it never stops. And we never stop learning. And we never stop growing. We just, we just figure out new ways to do what we love. You know, new ways to connect with the people. New ways to get your stuff out there. New ways for you to, like, um, make an impact. You know? Leave the, leave it, the world you, a better place than we found it. That, which is super dope. Like and, and it's it's getting it's getting to the point too. I want to shout out uh, PQ's actually in here. Shout out to the pristine queen Aziza is in here. Stogie T is in here. Like look look. So these these are my people. So shout like out family. Shout out to all that man. They they, they yeah. always come in to show love man. Um and PQ actually yeah, she speaks very very highly of you. Uh, oh, and, and cut, come coming into this. Um but yeah no everything you talk about man as far as like putting the work in and shit like that like that's. That's the message that people need to hear. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's too Truth. much, like, there, there, there's too much softness right now. You know what I, I mean? I'm going to put it like that. There's too much softness. And this I'm was never supposed there. to be soft. You know what I mean? I'm, like, it, it was never meant to be. There. I'm surprised what? that, like, it's become the norm where people, like, just expect, like, you know, to be, you know, handouts or, like, to be spoon-fed. I'm like, yo, in my era, everybody had to grind for a shot. You had to, like, go up against, like, 20 30 40 other rappers to get a look you know just to get like a look on some oh that's that's so and so from where and he does this thing you have to go up against like 40 50 other guys to get your shot so i'm not from this era where people just expect oh yeah you know i'm hot going now, there so. auto tune some shit and then you got a deal <laughs> you know what i mean you got this you know this million bucks deal and nah that's not how all right. Feel. Well, see now, now you're in a unique position. All right, so fast forward. All right, we got the background. I'm gonna hit back on that too. And it's funny, like we're talking about like, they, like having those type of hip hop platforms. Um, I'm sure you, I'm sure you've seen at this point. But shout out to uh, again, Stogie and PQ and I. Uh, we're launching a podcast. Uh, the Word. podcast. Yeah, we start recording next Saturday. I wasn't even uh, on game. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's, that's it, it's it's gonna be dope. We're gonna have all the the social medias and stuff like that throughout the next that's week. Too. Um, it's and it's going to be an important platform. That's why I'm. That's why I'm asking about. You know, what I'm saying like having the experience of ha like my me seeing this is like when Stogie was doing like the Freestyle Friday stuff, and people had the opportunity to call in and go over and like just keeping your finger on the pulse of hip hop and shit like exactly. that. You know what I'm saying? On the streets, so yeah. it's super dope to hear that you have such positive feedback for these platforms that give these opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's super. That's super ill. But I now, mean, now you're in this this position, bro. Like. You have some responsibility on your shoulders right now. Like you, you have this position where you have maneuvered yourself in SA hip hop into yeah. like this. Like you kind of like play all ground. You can do the commercial. You, you know, you keep it real. You have it the the, the ear to the streets, and like yeah. everybody's respecting you. You got a little bit of a buzz. What are you gonna do with it? What is the goal? What is the next step? What is the end game for you? I was actually thinking about that. Like I've been. That's what I've been thinking about. Like pretty much the whole year. Like, and I talked to my mans about it. I was like, yo, so we've been grinding for this long, right? What would we like to see? What What is it now that we've built the brand, right? And obviously everybody's mm -hmm. trying to get paid off this shit, right? And I was like, okay, the money always come. You know, the money will come. You just, you just, you know, you just, you know, you just grind and you don't worry about that. The money will come. But other than that, what do we want out of this? And I was like, so the point is to build something so legit so solid that we can actually help launch other guys who have a similar story, you know, who are from like, uh, you know, like 
who started off on a back burner, like a little bit disadvantaged, maybe who are a little bit further out from the city, you know, they right. don't have that many opportunities, like to like, you know, get their, you know, get their stuff out there and whatever. The point for me is we need to start, me and my team, we were like, we need to build something. Obviously we, we you know, we started the grind, so I'm going to push my shit. But once it's Facts. at a point where everybody knows what's up, it needs to be such a solid platform. It needs to, it needs to be a well-oiled engine whereby we could take somebody else and say, okay, or for the strength of what we built and your talent, we're going to bring these two things together and make sure that, you know, your dreams come true. That's what I'd like to see, you know, this thing go. You know what I mean? That's, I want to that's, build like, bro, that's, that's, that's beautiful. And that, that, yeah, that is not, that is not unlike what I'm trying to do myself. So like, I, I, I'm with you on this. Like, bro, if there's anything we can do to collaborate on some shit, man, because like, bro, what you just described and the way that you yes. just described, like what you want to do with your career, bro, is like yes, very, very eerily similar to like what my current goals are with shit like that. So like, wow, um, huge shout out, shout out to Cape Town. Uh, Cape Town has a, a battle league, Clash MC battle league that I've been working with. And yeah. like part of what part of what we're doing is we're trying to use the platforms to give these guys who are like wildly talented, like actually like dope MCs and shit like yeah. that, but give them the platform to turn around and then give them the look to be on, uh, you know, to get to, to talk to a journalist like PQ, to get to talk to Stogie, yeah. to get to talk yeah. to my ass. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, mm. like it's it's so fucking dope, man. Like to, just to ha be blessed to have that type of opportunity. Look at Stogie really talking shit. Is this a gospel lot? We're just spreading <laughs> the good word of positivity, Stogie. Not You're everyone needs to be a fun. cynic. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep it positive, I don't man. I even see the comments. They're not, even like, they're not even like popping up on my screen. I don't even see the comments. I don't even see who's joining. I'm just like... Uh, nah, Stogie, Stogie just trolling as usual. That's my guy. <laughs> that's, my, that's my big dog. I love him to bits. He's a real dude. Facts, man. We're, we got a lot of dope shit, man. I would love. Oh, you got volunteered too. Did you? Did, did Cap tell you? <laughs> Cap, no, Cap didn't tell me enough. I spoke to Cap in like three, three maybe four weeks. Yo, so I, I interviewed. I interviewed Cap last week. Yes, um, I that. Part of, I didn't get to see that. Oh, you dropped. You dropping the ball. You're, you're supposed to lie to me at least. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yo, y'all killed that shit, man. Y'all killed that shit. I'm trash. I didn't get to see it. I got to keep it a stack with you. I'm gonna, oh, man. Get, I'm gonna catch up though. So, like, part of what it, part of what we're doing is uh, the DVD cipher. You said you've seen the DVD cipher with me and Stogie on it. Uh, yes, of course. Right. I thought that so, was. like, we're we're create. I'm creating a volume series with that, right? So, where uh, okay. it's like that was just volume one. Volume two is me, Landmark, uh, P. Dot O, Jimmy, Jimmy Wiz, Ooh. and Touchline. Ooh. So, like, two is gonna be fucking dope. Three is going to be – three is me and the four finalists for the Cape Town Battle League. Uh, so shout, shout out to all of them. That's going to be dope. And then the, yes, the one sir. after that right now is just me and Cap. And Cap said that uh, he volunteered you. That you're definitely going to throw a verse down with him. I'm inside. Consider me in. Consider let's go. Me in. I'm in there. I'm in let's there. go. I appreciate let's go. that, fam. That, like, and, <laughs> and, again, same thing. If there's anything that we can do on our end or anything like that, you know what I'm saying, to, to help promote and put man. people we on and shit like that. For real, I'd love to. We should like we should like chop it up and like you know bounce some ideas and see what it is that we can do. You know. Yeah, thanks. Like Absolutely, man. I'm with it. Definitely now, Kowski. let's go back to the platform, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you can go back, right? So like, put yourself in all these, all these, uh, all these positions. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Where where you got uh, Caps in here now? He's talking about. He told you he was going to be down. Shout out the Cap, yo, with the plug. Yeah, that's my Appreciate broski. you, man. <laughs> that's my dog. <laughs> He was like, yeah, it's not even a question. Chill is going to do this in a heartbeat. <laughs> I'm inside. Count me in. <laughs> All right, so put yourself in these positions, right? Yes, sir. There's now this new platform that's opening up, right, where there's a possibility that you get the opportunity to go to get your look, get your mm -hmm. first look, right? Mm -hmm. What are you doing differently? Give your advice. Put yourself in the position of these youngsters coming up. Drop some gems for them. What do you wish they, you knew going into having that first opportunity, man? I won't lie, right? I knew that I wanted to be like a rap artist, like a musician, but I did not, I did, I did not. Yeah, maybe I didn't have the know-how at the time and it, and it took time for me to like learn all this other stuff, but I wish I had taken more time to like, like do research about artist development, you know? 
what it means to like be an artist, you know, have your profile together, you know what I mean? Have your, you know, have your, have your team together, have like your manager right here, have you like your assistant right here with you, like build, build the team. Cause the team wasn't, it was, it was a two man crew thing. Me and my friend who's actually like, who was at the time like slash engineer slash like business partner slash investor. It was just us and we didn't all the way know what we were doing. So what right. I would do differently is I would do more research, you know, on like artist development, what it takes to be an artist, like listen to like uh, uh, um, what's going on in, oh, watch out, man. Listen to like what's going on, like in the radio stations, like check out also the internet, like be more, be more, um, approach it like a label. Cause we were independent and we thought we need more. We were like, yo, we, we need the machine, but what we should have done is started operating like a label from the grassroots, like, like operate like we the business. That's the, right. that's, the, that's, the, that's what I want to tell the kids who might be, you know, listening in and who might see this later that look, just because like you guys are like in the bendo, you know, without any, any real like cash injection or like anybody like supporting your thing, don't, don't like downplay it. You guys are a label. If you guys can create the content from your bando then you guys already are doing the work of a label. You just have to figure out who's going to do the A&R. You know what I mean? Who's going to do the marketing? You know what I mean? Who's going to go out there to, 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 to like talk to brands or labels about you? Who's going to figure out who's going to be reading like um, the different type of deals that are out there, the different type of deal structures, who's going to like um, sit down with the right kind of people and, and have the right kind of conversations and get like um, the right type of uh, advice on how to go about it and how to grow your fan base like organically, you know, like go, f like coming through the back door. By the time you have your smash hit single, like you've already done so much groundwork. You feel right. me? Right. And then like your fans know, like they know, oh shit, that guy hit the, that underground spot that has a bit of a buzz there and that one there in Cape Town and that one there in Pretoria, that one there in Josie. So that you know, when they see you with the smash hit, they're like, oh shit. That's what I would have done differently. And that's what I want to urge the kids to do. Like, yo, just because you guys, you know, don't have a look from like, you know, like a, you know, like a powerful investor, don't downplay your shit. You guys are a label. If you guys are creating the content, the music, and you guys are packaging it, and it's already like, you guys can come out with the CD, then y'all are the label. Y'all need to figure out Fuck this shit. operate like a label. You feel me? Absolutely feel you, man. Yeah. Absolutely. That's... That's ill. That's that is that is that is top tier advice, man. And Thank like you, like you you're talk you're talking to an artist the way that I talk to businesses in terms yeah. of starting a small business, right? Like yeah. part of what I do like my personal life with the marketing and stuff like that. And it's crazy how much overlap it is because being an artist ain't nothing other than entrepreneurship. It that's is like straight like it's all it is. It's straight up just entrepreneurship. And it's, it's like yo adapting and like figuring out like how to like um how to make the most of the climate at the time and be like, you have to be quick, you have to be adaptive, you have to be coachable, and you have to know who to call for advice. You have to have the right people that you can call, like, yo, this is what I'm faced with. I was fortunate enough to have people like Stogie, you know, to be able to call Stogie, like, yo, so this is where I'm at right now, this is where I'm trying to go, and he gave me advice. And I, I was fortunate enough to be able to call people like Proverb, like, yo, what's up, big homie Verb, I'm trying to do this and whatever, whatever. So that's what I want to urge the kids, like, yo, don't think just because, you know, don't ever downplay your shit. If it's dope and you know you dope, go in there like an entrepreneur. You know what I mean? Facts, man. Mm. I think what I would want to do is, like, before you get to that step is where, I, where I'm going to want to focus on stuff. Because, mm. let's be honest, most of these people don't have the opportunity to reach out to Stogie. Most of these people don't mm. have the opportunity to reach out to Proverb. Like you, no, you, you, you hustled yourself into that position before that position was ever an opportunity. You know what yes, I'm saying? Sir. Yes, sir. What I want to do is I want to feature segments on shit that that help from the grassroots, where you got a kid with a hope and a dream and a talent and a work ethic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And like a road a road map for that kid. And it's yeah. not gonna be it's not gonna be an easy uh, an easy stage to success. I'm no. not talking about a get rich quick scheme. I'm talking about here's a blueprint, a blueprint, because there's a million and one ways to make it. Especially yeah. nowadays with the internet being so powerful. Really? You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, sir. 
to start off with some type of grassroots blueprint. And here's here's the beautiful thing about what you said, like about treating it like a label now, wherever you're at. What's the illest shit when somebody gets on? Is when you start to dig in the crates and you start to bring out the shit, bro. Like this interview at five thousand subs is gonna be dope, but it's still right. gonna exist at five million subs. So like right. the content that you're creating now, oh shit, look how powerful right. that was. Look how powerful that was. <laughs> Knocking shit over. But I'm saying like the, con the, the content that's being created now, yeah. the internet's around forever. There are people who are just going to discover me or just discover you a day or two from now and then still go back to all your old shit. So like, don't worry about what happens when I get signed. Like you need to treat your shit right now because motherfuckers are going to go back and see that you were ass if you're not putting your work into your stuff right now. Like that's... There's it's there were some heavy messages right there, man. That was fucking, that was deep, my guy. What you just said is so important because I was having a convo with one of my friends yesterday, right? I was like, "Yo, you bumped this new Benny the Butcher." He's like, "Yeah, who didn't bump Benny the Butcher?" And I was like, "Ah, <laughs> but wait, a couple of months ago, that was never the case. We'd never be like, oh shit, you heard the new Griselda,' and then we feel like, no, but everybody heard the new Griselda. Today, everybody like is bumping it because." Everybody who's like new, or everybody who just got hip to this shit, they love it because they see what we've been listening to for the past two, three years, four years. They catching up to the back catalog. So what you're saying about like it existing right. forever, like somebody might discover you three years from now, but this will still exist. And when they go back, they're gonna see all the gems. They're gonna see why the people who were fucking with you since then were fucking with you since then. You know, Thanks. so that's the ill shit about it. That's why I'm, I'm like, yo. You got to take it serious from the jump. Drop the shit. Have a catalog. It doesn't matter if people... In fact, it's better if people discover you when you've got like 12 projects under your belt. Because now they're like, oh shit, this guy puts in, you know, this guy puts in mad work. You know what I mean? And that's just going to be worth a lot more later anyway. So... When did, when did, when did you realize you weren't trash? <laughs> probably like 15 right like 15 I mean, yeah i've been rapping for a year and i i've only been like been told i'm whack like once which is like when i was 14 and started rapping like on like my third attempt to rap in a cypher full of dudes some guys said i'm whack like on my third try but then when i was 15 it was a year later and i realized i hadn't heard that since yeah yeah, and I was like, oh shit, maybe I'm on to something. Because all my friends, you know, your friends will egg you on, but they're your friends, you know. They'll, they'll always right, be right. Like, giving you, like, positive vibes and pushing you in, like, you know, like, to do positive shit. But, like, a year later, from the time I started rapping, I realized I'd only been told I'm whack once. And that guy didn't really like me much, so. <laughs> uh, did you ever go back to him, like, ah, bitch? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, my petty levels, I had, like, minus one, so I really oh my god humble <laughs> king okay I, I i i feel you on that kind of not yeah. really i'm petty as fuck yeah i would like, send i would send him a signed copy of every cd i did and spell my name wrong on it <laughs> if he was my man like that i'd probably <laughs> oh shit i lost you you back my All bad right. i'm back come on don't be butchering my interview man <laughs> no, sir. My bad. I'm going to connect this shit. It was just my battery trip, but I'm going to connect my shit to the, to the uh, charger right quick. So All right, man. I need the cable, though. You got me? Shit, it's in my moon bag. That's right. <laughs> my man's got me. Don't worry about it. No more butchering. I got you. All right, all right, all right, cool. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, so I do want to I wanna transition a little bit into the conversation, right? So Cap, Cap gave me a, an interesting talking point Um, when it comes to, like, just like checking with like the people that you check with, you know what I'm saying? The people that you keep close to you, uh, which, which does transition to a, a lot to like, I think what I love and love and hate about hip hop. Right. So who do you keep? Who's your circle? Who do you keep closest to you? Hip hop wise, like cat made cat made the point of being like the, your whole like G check. Right. Like if there's a verse that I want to run by, I'm going to hit up so-and-so and run my verse by them to see if it's, you know, like, cause they're going to give me the real shit. Like, and I want to get into this and transition into fan bases too. But first, I don't, I don't want to overpower this. Start with this. Who who you fuck with? Who's the inner circle? 
Who's the lyrical inner circle that you're running shit by? She, uh, I got my man Summer here. Like, he's always first to hear this shit, but like, the people that you know in the game, Cap, definitely one of those guys. Cap is, you know, I love Cap, man. Cap is like a real dude. Uh, he's not even like, he's no longer like uh, my, uh, my rapper friend. He's just my friend who happens to rap. He's, he's right. good people. He checks on me just cause, you know what I mean? So I might send him something. I might send um, um, this guy's uh, Kid X. I might send him the shit before it drop. I might send my man Zinger the shit before it dropped. Because those are the guys I was like, sort of like discovered. Zinger and Kid X, I was discovered pretty much around the same time with, like in 2010, on this platform called The Full Clip. They went on to get signed by Cash Time and became these mega stars in like 2011, 12, you know? It had like smash singles that were doing mad numbers on radio. So those are my guys from like 2010. I, I discovered them on this platform, uh, The Full Clip. So I'll send Hello. them, I'll send somebody like Cap, um, I might send somebody like Stoke. Uh, that's if he doesn't hear it when he's like by Zef. Like uh, we, we from time to time we use the same engineer, uh, a dope guy by the name of Zef. Um, I might send it to this guy called Kid Tini. Um, okay. He's got a song with like Stoke and Styles P. I'm so jealous. He's like my little I, broski. I reacted to that. That's funny. Yeah. That, that 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 keeps getting mentioned in these these uh, interviews for some reason. It's he, so he's random. He's my guy. I've known him. He's been rapping since he was also like in high school. I've known him since he was like 14. Because I was signed to the label that's being run by his older brother. Okay. And that's how me and him became mans. So I might send it to somebody like him, somebody like DJ Yanga. Um... Yeah. Okay. It's like five, six people. Yeah. Stoke. I, Stoke so yeah. out of out of those out of those five or six people, who's the most likely to keep it real with you? Who's the first one to be like, ah, that wasn't it? Zinga. <laughs> Stogi and Zinga and Zef. Now you're just gonna name it. So, okay. Stogi, Zinga, and Zef. They're, yeah. they're the most likely to tell you that ain't it. They 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 never sugarcoat anything, like nothing, no filter. <laughs> so they keep it a bulk with me, like nah, you you ain't on your shit. Get, go go back. How do you think your fans are? Bias. <laughs> my fans. You have that hot like my issue is the people with fan bases who can't see flaw. No, uh, my, ev everything, everything that my guy drops is the hottest thing ever. And you just don't, you just don't know bars. That's why you don't you love don't this. Know bars, man. You just, you don't know anything about hip hop. You're right. Man, that's, those, are, those, those are the dudes. Like, um, you know, like my fans are like just super biased, man. Uh, but like, I love them because I, 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 I notice what else they like. And it's like some, some real ill shit. So because of that, I give them the benefit of the doubt. Like, yo, they'll tell me if my shit's whack. But I know they're super biased. Like, I know. <laughs> yeah. This is like 2015, you feel me? Like, we're right. attached now. We're like a family now. So Anybody anybody specific fan-wise you want to give a shout-out to? Shout put, my put the spotlight on you. At my Huta 11, that's my dog. Okay, my what's man. going on? Like, yo, he's, he's super, he's like staunch true gang. Like, staunch means like hardcore in South Africa. Like, he's like a like top tier Trill Gang member like yo vice president of the Trill Gang you feel me you talk um, about Mahuda from the uh, No Hidden Agenda podcast precisely yeah he's the my one that dog. gave you all the ones to react with to uh, for you he, he's the one that slid right in my DMs he was and like yo up. let me get you my guy <laughs> <laughs> and he's like a super like a uh, like a uh, hip hop scholar like he loves everything hip hop it's not just me like everybody who's ill locally and internationally He'll put you on to some ill shit anytime, every time. You feel me? So shout out to him. Shout out to my girl Gina. I ain't spoken to her in a while. Shout out to um, my girl Sharon. Um, and, sh and shout out to um, who else? Uh, I can't wait till you watch the playback and see all the pissed <laughs> off comments. Why you ain't telling me? I've been here since day one. <laughs> they you know get, I love them, man. I'm you gonna get eaten alive them. in these comments, man. Yeah. <laughs> I got my man's phone, so I can see the shit right now, actually. I guess I, I'm seeing them right now. Shout out to Aziza. 
She's like, <laughs> she's like my hoot is one of the people I respect the most. Uh, yeah. So shout out to her. And oh yeah, Cap, Cap's talking about Mahuda says he hates battle rap. I saw I hit Cap up on Twitter. I was like, "Yo, just block him." I was like, "I, I already, I already warned him about this, man. I already warned him about this." Just block the dude. Just just block him. It's not worth having that kind of negativity in your life. We don't you need know? that. <laughs> we don't need that energy. <laughs> so hold on. So what are you doing now, man? What's uh? You've been quiet on the scene. You've been quiet for a while. Uh, the last project you dropped, I believe, was actually a surprise album. It's not even one that you were like hyping up and not like I, I do my research. We we on this. Why so why the Ill. why the quietness? Why what what are you working on? What are you scheming on right now that 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 has the waters not rippling? So I I, ref, I refuse to believe that you're just you, you're just sitting idly behind that you ain't got no no master plan going on. That's not that's not even possible. I, I'll show you why it's not even possible, man. I just like I was driving for for like a like just within two hours because I was driving to my man's. Like, my man's, we got, like, a, a little setup um, right now. So I'm going to show, I'm going to just, like, swing my camera around and show you. What oh, I'm we got working the on, Cribs I'm, edition. We got yeah. the Cribs edition interview. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you see the little panels over there. He was just put, putting this shit up. You feel me? Okay. Uh, little home studio cooking? You feel me? He out, He's setting this shit up right now. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He out here right now. You feel me? He's a little you know, you know how ill it is to, to sit down to do an interview and just have people working around you? <laughs> <laughs> so look at the that, look at the light flex. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm not even gonna front. That's like my best friend. Like he's always been like down for me, you know what I mean? That's but what's like, up, um, man. That's the reason, the reason why, the reason why, you know, it was like a, a surprise, like drop, was because I needed a new angle. Like, I was tired of the, you know, catch my album on the fifteenth of November thing, catch my mixtape on the like. So now I'm going on something different. I can't believe I'm gonna spill my whole thing here. But Let's go. My, th my whole thing is gonna be different. I'm just gonna focus on the music. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, I'm just gonna give the people what they want. All these guys want from me is raps. I'm not okay. going to tell them, yo, check this out, check that out. I'm just going to hit them with the raps going forward. That's why I came here today. Like, I'm actually working on another one. I've been working on it for, like, maybe two weeks because I dropped this one, like, in August, in it. A whole, whole project? A whole yeah. project or a record? It's just like a, it's just like an EP. Like a, okay. it's, not as, it's not as lengthy as the previous one, like, from Porsche with Love. It's going to be a little bit shorter. But I'm going to try and make a special because I didn't even, re like, really have features or, like, you know, guests on the previous one. So I'm going to link up with my guys, you know. I'm going to call my guys, like, send the, the relevant people, like, the song, like, the kind of people that I think. No, nah, no, nah, we're not doing show. that. What do you mean the relevant people? Who 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 can we expect on this project? He tried to hit me with the, the relevant people. <laughs> I'm going to send it to the relevant. <laughs> this ain't my first interview. Who, who, who we get on the album? <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it a buck. <laughs> I got a couple jobs, right? And, like, <clears throat> you know, you earmark one. You'll be like, shit, I think, I think Stogie will be dope for this. Right. But just because I think he'll be dope for this doesn't mean he might, he'll vibe with it. Doesn't necessarily guarantee that he'll vibe with it. He, he might be like, hey, send me the other one. And then I send him something else. And then by the time he sends back that shit, this project is done. Right. And then I gotta put that. Oh, I know. Part. I know all about Stogie's deadlines. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta my, understand, my man operates on his own time zone. <laughs> you gotta understand, the man is busy. Everybody wants a verse from Stogie. Oh, I know. I know. Man, I, I, yo, I had to. I beat his fucking door down for that DVD <laughs> cipher verse, man. Now he's like, Nah, I got you. I got you. I got you on Friday. That was April. That shit yeah. dropped in September. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. You see. So it's so so for me. I'm gonna so hold on. All right. So so we got so we got we got Stogie possibly if he vibes with it. Definitely, my, my a guy called MDB Madlera Doughboy. Okay. Yeah. Not familiar with him. Um, ill guy. I don't know if you know Kuli Chana. Who? Kuli Chana. Ever heard of Kuli Chana from? I have. I've had maybe one request. One person ever. I know. I've seen the name written, Legend. but but I've not listened. Legend. So this guy, MDB, is signed under his imprint. And he's okay. my dude. He's like um from a like a neighboring town. And we've 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 had a report since like twenty sixteen. 
So he's my guy, and you know, he's on the come up. He's killing all these features left, right, and center. So I felt like it's time we get back together. Um, I'm definitely gonna have my dude, Kate Tasso. He's the only guy I featured on my previous project. Um, okay. And yeah, the last one, I might have Ayanda Gia on it. You know, so Stokey, Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ayanda Gia. She's not even a rapper, she's like, um, she's an R&B singer. Okay. Yeah, she worked with Stogie um, on a previous joint. Like, yeah, um, I, was, I was about to say, she bodied that shit. What was it? Uh, uh, fuck, what was the one that, that she was on? It was like, nobody's, is not a, nobody's was your joint. What was the Word. fucking one? Yo, it's right there. I, I actually talked, if you will go back on my uh, my interview with Stogie, yeah. I actually talked about how much I like that shit on there. She she's, bodied the shit out of that. She's incredible. Uh, I want to work, work with her because she's like... Um, She's like my industry sister. Like, we were signed to... The first time I got signed to, like, a... There was like nobody. CPQ came through. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Y'all <laughs> all just named the songs all the same shit. That's, that's the problem. She's no hard. creative song titles. She's hard. So, we were... So, we were signed... To, like, the first time I got signed to somebody, and then, you know, to, like, an independent label called Tinism.com, me and her were signed under the same imprint, and we started working together there. And, like, you know artist development you know just building and building so i haven't worked with her since like 2017 i think it's about time so i'm gonna have her i'm gonna reach out to stove i'm gonna reach out to mdb and yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much it i got some, somebody asked somebody hit me with a question is reason hd gonna be on there not this one no no nah. nah. all right you guys you, you know guys heard it here ginger trill said me. fuck reason you guys heard it I'm here not, no, let, he let the headlines <laughs> let the <laughs> Let the headlines no. pick up. That's crazy. Why would you say that about reason? <laughs> this is going to be the clip that they use. <laughs> get, 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 get me defending him. Why would you say that? That's, he's a chill dude. He's not good enough to be on the album? That's how you no. feel? Really? No, no, no. That's Let crazy. Me Let me tell you. <laughs> me and me and Reese, shout out to Stogie. Me and Reese, we like brothers. Like We like, you know, people expect us to work together. And he put me on this amazing record on his last project um, called Cashless Society. Um, and this track is amazing, amazing. And from the feedback that we were getting, I know I was like, you know what? He and I, I feel like he and I owe the people a joint EP. So I'm not doing, I'm not getting into studio I got you. again with him to do like one song. No ways. Gotcha. People want like, people want us together. So... It was something I was planning to talk to him about. Like, yo, how about it, bro? Five tracks, six tracks. Let's give the people what they want. We feature these, you know, the people that we've worked with, like, like in the years. And, like, give, give the people what they want. They want a project from us. We can't just give them, like, a song. They want more. So that's why I feel we at here. Yo, Ginger out here for the people. You hear this? Do it for the people. Is that Okay. You got the you yeah. you the people's champ. I I got yeah. you. Okay. I love I love I love hip hop, man, and I love I love how hip hop fans move. I love what they're about, and I know what they want because I'm such a hip hop fan myself. You feel me? And I know yeah. I've seen it so many times. Whenever he and I drop a song, they're like, "Yo, man, isn't it about time you guys gave us a joint project?" And I'm like, "Actually, it is." <laughs> I'm, not doing, I'm not doing no single shit with him no more. We got to do a joint project for real. Okay. Yeah. Shout out, shout out them. Uh, Cashless is the, 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 I did the reaction to that, obviously. You did. Yeah, reaction. and I love that it. was, the, the song itself is absolutely amazing. Like, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm here for, Thank for the, the link up. I'm here for the link up. Like, that, it's that tough. was, that was definitely dope. That was hard. All right. Uh, so we got, we have, we have a few projects in the clip that, uh, mm -hmm. that you're working on. We got, we so, got featured list from you. We got a feature list. Yes. All right. You got a you got you got an exclusive sixteen for me, like like right now, like right now on the spot though. Shit, I'd have to. I'm so trash, man. I'd have to go. And no, this phone. no, just go, just go. Sixteen, <laughs> just go. I'd have to get uh. Mm. You're you're a rapper. I know, I'm, but like I, I'm a reactor. Come on, we're gonna do oh. what we do. We're gonna do what we do. I'd have to. I'd have to go into. This phone to get like the, the nah. shit, like um What do you know? Give me something. Alright, let me look for something. Let me look for something. The hustle. Mm. The hustle is free. 
Yes, indeed, the game sold separately at the trap store. School of hard knock crash course. Pay tuition to the trap lord. Hug the block like a landlord. Ah! Come on, <laughs> keep going. That's too on the spot. Like, now this shit slips my mind. Here we go. Landlord. Uh, uh, like, I forgot how this shit goes, man. I can't even cipher with you if you stutter. Like, at least me and Kat got a cipher off. Man, I gotta be, I gotta, I gotta tune into that. I gotta know. Like, yo, I'm walking into uh, this. This is, this is why, this is why Reason's not gonna be on your album. He, he trash. <laughs> he not, <laughs> he not dealing with your bum ass can't give me a 16. A 16? A 16? I got to be no. ready. I, I got to be ready. So you walking down the street, you get pressed. And they like, yo, let's go battle me right now. That's that's all you got? That hasn't happened in like... Uh, that, hasn't hap that hasn't happened. What we say earlier, everybody's so soft nowadays. What is right. so, I need prep time? You need prep time on the 16, my guy? Man. I got to... I See, you see the phone that we chatting on right now? I just go to my notes. Look at something, and then it sparked the whole, and then I uh, remember the whole shit. You see what I'm Cap, saying? Cap, come get, come get your man, Cap. <laughs> uh, yo, we about to get, we about to get, uh, we about to get knocked off. Did you want to hop out and hop back in another one, or are you good? We can do it. We can, we can hop in and hop back in. Hop back, hop back. All right, cool. Let me save the video, and then I'll start another live. Bet. Bet. All right. All right. Three, two. You. Hey, yo. We're back. We're back. We're live. Fashionably late, as usual. <laughs> Pardon me. Pardon These me. damn celebrities, man. These damn celebrities, <laughs> I'll tell you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm back. I'm inside. So, oh, uh, shit, for I'm those of you who are just inside. tuning I in. See... I can actually oh, you, see you good now? now? That's dope. That's what's up. You're, you're breaking up a little I'm bit. Sure you back? I'm, I think. I hope so. My yeah. PQ busy. said you was you was busy. You was busy studying some raps real quick. Yeah, she's right. <laughs> she's right. <laughs> you got one for us now? You got one, or we got to move on? What's going on? I got some. I'm, I'm ready now. Oh, you're now you're ready. ready. Okay. Part two. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, we got a uh, ginger trill in the house. He's ready to give you the sickest 16 you've ever heard. Uh, fuck reason. You guys heard it here first. Go go ahead. Let's see what you got. Oh, shit. Oh, I got a sick of flow. These niggas bad shit. Crazy if you thinking you can match this. Niggas posing. They ain't really acting. Let me find out you niggas is catfish. Get the bag, make it do a backflip. Money talk, I make it do an ad lip. I was never playing by the trap shit. I don't hesitate, I make it happen. Have you levitate and call that cracker shit and knock you out and make you take a nap? Cuss a nigga out and never take it back. Fuck is you about my nigga, say what's happening. Me, I'm dedicated to the clap shit. Medicated through all of the madness. Several hated, but a nigga adamant. I was never playing about the shit. You can say I always been a rider. Do this for my mama. Do this for the squad. I do this for the grind. I get it for the... <laughs> ah, let's Fuck go. <laughs> okay. I don't know what the fuck going on, Look, man. Let me give you something, too. Bad, For part man. two, I said, <clears throat> I said I got the face of a killer who got two Glocks aim. You had a tad of religion. I'd be a boondock saint. Trust me, Ooh. your dudes got changed. At least Tivo and the birds. I'd have been left the hood. But they ain't got no chinos in the birds. You'd be emo in your verse because you ain't got no chicks. That's why your dick got no bangs like Kanye's bitch. Six, get his Beyonce fix. And I'm leaving. I'm crying. You a pussy whip, maggot. Wouldn't cheat on a diet. You better leave for you riot. And we handling these cowards. You get your post replaced with stuffed animals and flowers. You get shot. With the nines all drawn, get him locked in that box. He was that pine saw long, then we gone. We off to attack haters with backbreakers to turn your bucket list into scrap paper. Once we empty out your house, me and Ginger take a turns to pound your spouse. You dealing with a god? I rep Verizon with the tough work. My squad will fill your block up. I'll be like, bitch, I got the network. Yes, sir. And we all a flash for war. Everyone in Philly carries. I just like to flash them more. Back and forth. These maggots gonna see why my episode of cribs on my closets look like TIs. We ride T9s, wearing out they leave. These bitches trying to be 
see mine. They tearing up their knee highs. If you squad rival in my block, I turn you pride into a scion. You be riding in a box. I ain't lying to you, Ock. You think a nines are gonna pop? You wrestling with the eagles. Must be high up on the rocks. I am not. Think it compared with you rapper dudes. I'm a Taurus with a Taurus and a bad fucking attitude. I splatter dude. Homie can get it. He got the crown custom made. It fits over the fitted. You dig? You Let's dig? go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Yo, that's the hardest shit ever, V. Oh, <laughs> oh you stay strapped. Yo. Oh, you stay strapped. You got to be ready to go. That's amazing, bruh. Bruh, bruh. We need to How many in. opportunities am I going to get to come kill it with y'all on these lives? You know what I'm saying? Man, I appreciate you, bro. So, <laughs> yo, we got to get it in on wax, man. We got we to gotta put something down on I'm wax, just, I'm, bro. I'm just a reactor. I don't. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, you know what? It's for real. <laughs> I I just I'm just a reactor, my guy. Uh, the t-shirt yeah, t-shirts yeah. merch merchandise coming off soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Man. Cool. Who who's yo, the hottest? So who's the hottest person I don't know about, yo? Mm, that you don't know about, Kid Tasso. Yeah. Who? My man, Kid Tasso. Spell it. It's K um dash T A S S O. Kate Tasso. Okay. Yeah. Kate he's a he's a he's a young MC from from my hometown, Watch is true. Um and for me, man, that's like some of the hardest lyrics. Some of the hardest lyrics Castle ever hear. Like ever. Like ever. Like he's just a hard dude. And because like he wasn't like in the mainstream or whatever, he's been making that underground, like that authentic hip hop. You feel me? Okay. And I think I think I think he's a guy that hip hop needs to look out for for real. I'm with it. That sounds dope. What is the uh, what's, what's the next what's the what's the big give back to the community thing for you? What what's going to be your big contribution back to the culture, back to the community? What what is what is that for you? I, I refuse to believe for someone me? that speaks as consciously as you do on some of these tracks and and just the social awareness that you exemplify that 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 you don't have something stored up to make a difference. You know what I'm saying? What is what is the plan for that? For me, and and I and I actually, I actually, you know, it's a small thing, but I I I, I tried to start like, like um, last year. For me, I'm like, you know, I'm from a place where we don't have a lot of like, um, not just opportunities, but just like resources, facilities. So, my dream was always to like go back to my township, to my hood, and like build some sort of uh, creative creative hub to keep some of these uh, kids away from the streets. Like, you know, the kids who want to express and the kids who have talent and the, the kids who have like, a, you know, an affinity for the arts to give them like a place to go and to express themselves, you know? Because like, you know, I don't mind Devil's Playground. Obviously, right? yeah, yeah. So, so I want to get I want to get them out of out of you know, out of that because like hip hop is growing like and it's growing on these kids and they starting to catch on to the culture, at a younger age like, and they want to do it they want to do these things but they get distracted because there's no way to actually there's no way where they can go to express you know, so absolutely I want to do a little something something you know when I get my shit together, because I was actually in Cape Town, like two weeks ago shooting a video for a song of my of the, the last project from Posh with Love. And the guy who was shooting took me to where he's man and created like some sort of like theater for the kids in their neighborhood, in their community. That's like, super kid, dope. Like girl children. Right. You know? Where yeah, they can not, go that's super dope. Artistic, where they can be safe, dance. Uh, 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 like community you know, centers. Have, like, uh, you know, they have like cameras and like a green screen sort of setup. So there's all types of ways they can be creative and get out of the streets where all sorts of weird shit is happening, you know, where all sorts of stuff that they shouldn't be involved in is happening. So that's the kind of thing that I want to do, like a safe space and a creative hub where these kids can hang out and be creative and be expressive and be safe. That's what I want to get that's back awesome. to my community because we never had that. We had to sort of like create those spaces for ourselves, Right. you know? But absolutely, no, absolutely. Our, 100%. Some of our, uh, some of our less, less advantaged, like less privileged 
peers didn't have the opportunity to do that you know so i want to create like a, a a big space where these kids can just all go create these networks amongst themselves and and build something together you know what i mean i start there and see what where else i can take it absolutely no that's that's fucking beautiful that's that's absolutely amazing and and yes, and sir. i didn't expect anything less like i i hope i hope that these I'd these things to, come I'd true love to do that. sooner rather than later you know what i'm saying yes sir yes sir like that's that's super that dope man in my community man what's that you you've won you've won a decent amount of awards so i i was doing my research i don't see that you you've been on tv several times you got i uh, i know that you came out you you pulled a the, the hot 99 charts you've been up on uh yeah. i know you was in magazines right yeah. you had the you was in a couple magazines what has been your favorite accomplishment so far like what like an accomplishment that has been recognized by your community by you know what i'm saying by the culture which one has meant the most to you cuz a lot of these award shows let's keep it a bean a lot of these award shows don't really mean shit. A lot of these award shows are somebody can give me props, but if I don't give a fuck about that person's opinion, how much do those props really mean? Right? <laughs> like praise exactly. praise means a lot coming from different people. You dig? Yeah. Which which one meant the most to you and why? I keep I keep it a stack. So last year I won lyricist of the year at the South African Hip Hop Awards, right? Mm, it's the bullshit Flex part. King. I wasn't even <laughs> The bullshit part is I wasn't even in attendance to collect my award. I was so upset. Like so much was going wow. on in my life at the time. And um I'd wanted that award since like 2014. And then and then I stopped wanting it. And then on the year where I wasn't expecting it, I got it. For me that was like so what's the word that was like I don't know man I I felt I I felt like you know that's awesome that, that, that that's super dope yo shout I was out emotion we, Nobody we got even got a chance to see me like tear up I was like did you you could you didn't record it you didn't <laughs> you didn't do a reaction you didn't put out a reaction video to you winning Hit lyricist of the year? You ain't doing a reaction video to you getting lyricist of the year? There's I your million it. clicks right there, my guy. I All right. slept. I slept. Let, uh, let, let me ask you this. Yes, sir. And I want I want you I want you to keep it real with me. Cause I'm I'm gonna look in your eyes as a man. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you deserve that lyricist of the year award? I didn't feel that way. What? <laughs> <laughs> you who do you who do you think deserved lyricist of the year? Last year, when you won, Youngster. when you won, youngster, youngster, youngster CPT. You gotta say the CPT, my guy. You gotta say the CPT, baby. <laughs> you gotta say the CPT. That's that's dope. Um, what song do you think he deserved it on, man? It wasn't the song; it was the whole project. He dropped three T last year. Right. Granted, granted, I dropped two projects last year. I was on like a joint project and like, you know, a solo project. But like, just the amount, just like the rollout of his of his project, and like the amount of work he'd been putting in into making sure that that project gets out from the beginning of the year. I honestly thought it was between him and P. Dot last year. Honestly. I keep Gosh, that, no, that, that's dope man that's humble that's, that's dope yeah i like i like asking those hard questions because like people don't realize this but artists are the most sensitive human beings in the entire world people don't even know that people don't even it, think it, like they, they you, you have no idea how emotional of a roller coaster this culture can be from Bro. some of the hardest dudes some of the hardest Bro. dudes it's an Bro. emotional it's an emotional fucking roller coaster and that, that's that's super Bro. dope to see you humble like that to see you give props like that, like that's 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 tough, man. So like, it, it's it's a ah, we're, we got you buffering. All right, so Shit, man. what what is Pardon what me, is the you next? Run that back. Cool, yeah, you were you, you were just buffering. Run that back. No, yeah. I, I'm saying like like that was that was super dope. It's, it's super dope to hear you humble to give props like that and stuff like that, right? Um, I'm a fan, man. With that having been your 
your biggest accomplishment yet. And then for you to turn around and say, like, you don't think that's where that should have been, right? What's next then? What's, 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 the, what's the award that's going to top that? What's the album award that the you need the album of the year? I need the album of the year. What do you got to do to get there? Shit, I always thought I got out rap everybody. Turns out that's not the case. So probably not. Probably not that. Prob probably not. Uh, so yo, shout out to Mercules real quick. Hold on, my guy Merc is in here. Yo, Mercules is, is one of the hottest rappers. Period. Let alone just straight out of Canada. Part of what I want to do, man, and and Ginger, I'm glad that you're here to get that to have this conversation with Sue. So like. I'm in a very, oh, my God, you already buffering on me? We about to get into something deep right now. It's all right. I'm going to talk my shit anyway. Part of part of what we want to get involved with, you there? I got disconnected. Yo, can I you got hear disconnected. me? I don't know because I'm on the Wi-Fi. I don't know why I got disconnected. I can hear you, Steve. All right, can cool. you hear me? Yeah, so check me out. Part of, part of why I'm, I'm shouting him okay. out, too, okay. while he's in here, I like why this is dope is, like, I want to see, I want the, I'm in an opportunity, right? to link yeah. people together, right, from yeah. different cultures. You know, what yeah. it's, it's all hip-hop culture, but, like, it's different to right. say the, the Canadian hip-hop culture versus the South African hip-hop culture. Exactly, for real. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and, sir. like, I love that the people that come to the reaction channel and stuff like that not only get the opportunity to, like, hey, I came because I'm a fan of Ginger, right, but yeah. now they're going to see the reactions to the Mercury stuff from Canada. Now they're going to see yeah. the reactions to the Aceism and Epiphany stuff from Australia. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now we got all the yeah. American reactions, too. We and it, it allows everybody to kind of, like, share the clout. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never right. know who you're going to become a fan of. You know what I'm saying? The next day. Perfect. Like, exactly. so huge shout out to Mercules. Mercules is someone that's, like, huge uh... Shout out that, to Mercules. Shout out, broski. <laughs> like, he's dope. Uh, we got another question that I could ask. Um, while we're talking about collaborations... And uh, uh -huh. since you just big up, oh shit, DJ Lodge is in here too. For those who don't know, DJ Lodge down in the comments, that is my brother. All right, so shout out to him. No uh, any incriminating things that he's saying down there, that's <laughs> it's all true. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, not like, so they were asking, man. Yo, Merc, you you will fuck with Ginger, man. Ginger Ginger's a real dude. Um. The two yeah, of you together on a track would would absolutely be a fucking problem. And it would be a beautiful thing to see the Canadian fan base and to see the South African fan base start to mingle. You know what I'm saying? Because Thank like you. I don't this is what it's all about for me. Like what is my contribution going to be? Like I, I made a tweet, right, to where like my version of success is gonna be able to look back and have me given more to the culture than I've gotten from it. You feel me? Like that's gonna yes. be what cements. That's, that's cool. gonna be what cements shit for me. You know what I'm saying? So like, if we can if we can set up some collabs and shit like that, like, like really start intermingling the cultures. That's, like, that's, bro, that's that's peak. That's that's what it's about, big dog. I'm telling you right now. Like, if we don't do that, we, we would have. You know, that's that's an L on us. You know what I mean? So while we're here and while everybody is like, you know, connecting. It's the perfect time for us to bridge the gaps. You feel me? Facts. You know, I got I got a couple of things I'm working on with that man. I, the 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 battle league I'm That's working good. with with Cape Town. Uh, I'm 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 That's pitting good. them against uh, either. Uh, so I, I actually I got a, a battle league with Australia that I'm That's going and, and figuring out who I'm going to be putting them against. Whether it's the Cape Town guys, uh, I'm in, I'm going to be in talks with a Nigerian battle league. And I got a few guys out in Canada too, so like that's we're dope. we're really trying to to spread out a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's dope. That's yeah, you dope, and Merc, you and Merc would make fucking sick ass music, man. All yeah, right, and I'm gonna follow him and, and, and hit him in the DMs and see what we can, you know. I really appreciate you for connecting me with these awesome people, facts. man. For real. Nah, he he's real too. Like he'll he'll talk to you. Like he's he's a good dude. Um, that's dope. What do I want to do? You got any questions for me? Anything that you want to talk about? Your platform. Uh, I know you got a lot of secret projects and shit like that you're working on, but is there anything that you want to promote? Anything that you wanted to discuss and dig into? Um, the only thing I want to promote while we're here, right now, everybody go stream my um, latest LP. It's titled From Porch With Love. I see my cousin, Nonkosi underscore M-U-A, has been talking about it like <laughs> heavy on this here live. 
So go stream that project. I dropped that like in August, in it summer. Yeah. I dropped that like in August, so it's not that old. So I want you, everybody who's discovering me on um on this year platform, go check that out because I'm gonna be dropping a new one soon. 